Hi guys, so today I will be collabing with Savannah Silver. Make sure you check out her look down below in the description bar. It's a super sexy, sultry holiday look. And if you guys want to see how I created my look, please keep on watching. <laughs> Alright you guys, to start off my look, I'm going to start with my brows and I'm using this brow tweeze brow pencil that I found in my local Dollar Tree and they're by Physicians Formula. Sometimes if you go to Dollar Tree, you get lucky and find some really good stuff. So I had a good day when I found these pencils. The spoolie brush I'm using, by the way, is from Pure Cosmetics. This is from their holiday brush sets, which are exclusively available at Kohl's and Kohl's.com. I will be using majority of um, Pure Cosmetic brushes in this look, okay? So as you guys can see, I'm just filling in the tail end part of my brow, and I just outlined the actual natural shape of my brow, and I'm just filling it in very lightly. Then I'm gonna go in with this Pure Brow Powder, and this one is in the shade medium brown, I believe it is. And I'm just going to brush some of that into my brows just to kind of lighten up my brows just a bit. And I'm going to go back in with my spoolie um, brush and blend that in. I'm going to also use my LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the shade Fawn to clean up my brows. And this will just give it a more cleaner, sharper appearance. You do not have to do this step if you're not into the concealing of the brow area thing but you're not really concealing your entire brow, okay? You're just cleaning it up with a bit of concealer. You can also use foundation or BB cream, whatever it is that makes you feel comfortable, you do that. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up that concealer and blend it out, and then I'm gonna kinda blend out the front part of my brow so it's not too sharp. Then I'm gonna clean up the top part of my brow with my foundation shade from L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte um, Foundation. This one is in the shade Soft Sable. I'm just going to use a bit of that to clean up the top part of my brow so I can have a nice defined brow. I'm going to go in with some brow gel and go in and brush that in. And this is going to help keep my brows, my brow hairs in place. And it's also going to help keep the color I apply to my brow in place. I'm going to add some of that concealer to the inner and outer part of my eyelid area and also into my transition area and blend it out with this foundation brush, which is also from Pure Cosmetics. Then I'm going to go in and prime my lids using my LA Girl Pro Primer Stick in Nude and apply that all over the lid and then go back in with that foundation brush and blend that out. Alright you guys, for my first shade of eyeshadow, I'm using this hot pot called Barista from Coastal Scents and I'm going to go in with this blender. It's kind of like a flat blender brush from Pure Cosmetics and I'm just going to use the wider side to blend my transition area, then the flat side to get into that small crease there. Alright, if that makes any sense to you guys. So you can kind of twist it and turn it to make it work for whatever it is that you need it to do okay now i'm gonna go in with this kind of detailer pointed crease brush and apply this um, dark chocolate shade into my outer v area and i'm just gonna concentrate the color to that part of the lid and lightly bring it into my crease I'm going to go back in with that flat blender brush and just blend out the edges of that beautiful brown shade. Now I'm going to go in with Milani's Bella Eyeshadow in the shade Chiffon. It's a highlight shade, but I'm going to use this shade shadow brush from Pure Cosmetics. This is from their 5P set and apply that beautiful shade to my lid. And it's kind of like a white gold shade, if you guys could see that. Really, really pretty. I wanted to do something that kind of reminded me of snow, but this kind of actually looks like yellow snow, which is not the good snow. But... <laughs> <laughs> you guys know what I mean, okay? I just wanted something white toned, all right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my liner and I'm using NYC's liquid liner and it's in the shade black. And I'm gonna create quite a dramatic wing liner. You guys do not have to do this if you're uncomfortable with wing liner. You can do a straight line, you can do a smoked out liner, and you could do no liner and just put on some lashes and you're good to go, all right? But I love my liner, so that's what I'm doing. But I do have a plan on doing a no liner look for you guys very soon. Now I'm going to go in with this glitter from Hard Candy called Lock and Key and my e.l.f. glitter primer. And I'm just going to apply that to the top part of my lid and on top of my entire lid. I'm not doing like a fully covered lid of glitters. Very see-through, kind of almost like lace, you know, 
for the lids if that makes sense and then I'm gonna go in and deepen up my um, outer V area with that same brown chocolate color and the same brush I apply I used the first time and just darken it up and then I'm gonna go in with some mascara and this mascara is from wet n wild it's my favorite um, drugstore mascara and it's very affordable as well now I'm gonna go in with this Bella shadow from Milani called Bella Sand and it's a beautiful brow highlight in my opinion and I'm just gonna highlight the top part of my brow and this is just gonna make the look look a bit more dramatic and more glowy okay and I'm gonna go back in with that flat blender brush just to blend out the edges of my transition color and that highlight color alright you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and add some concealer under my eye area and just blend it out using this contour foundation brush from Cure pure cure pure cosmetics and just blend that out okay then I'm gonna go in and prime underneath my lower lash line sorry I'm out of focus and I'm just gonna blend it out using my finger then I'm gonna go back in with that beautiful brown chocolate shade from the flaming um, love palette from makeup addiction and just smoke out my lower lashes now going in with this gorgeous gold shade you guys it's so pigmented and just pure gold like almost pure gold beautiful I'm gonna use this small kind of detailer brush and apply that to the tear duct area then I'm gonna go in with the angle side of the spoolie brush and use the shade blackberry this is a hot pot from Cosa Sense and just apply this underneath my lower lashes just to kind of make it make my lashes lower lashes appear thicker all right and just kind of smoke it out a bit I'm gonna go in with my wet n wild mascara and apply some of that to the lower lashes I usually add about two to three coats and this will be my first coat and then for lashes I'm using the miracle lash mink lashes in the style vein and while the glue is drying I'm gonna go ahead and line my waterline with a bit of my glide gel liner pencil from LA girl and in the shade very black Alright you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and pop on these lashes from the Miracle Lash. Alright, and I'm using this little tool called Scissor Tweezers. You can get them in Walmart. And then I'm going to go in with my OPV Gel Liner and this Bent Liner Brush from Pure Cosmetics and just conceal my lash line or lash strip. That is it for the eyes, you guys. On to the face. Alright you guys, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Soft Sable and I'm going to be using my Miracle Complexion Sponge from Real Techniques and blend that out. It's kind of like a beauty blender but cheaper and you can get them in Walmart you guys and I'm going to use it wet with warm water, okay? Alright you guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend out all of this foundation. You can use a brush if you like but I feel as though... This L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation goes on much nicer with a sponge and looks more flawless and airbrushed than with a brush. Alright, then I'm going to go in with my um, LA Girl Pro HD Corrector Concealer. I didn't even really read the name of it, but this is an orange shade. I'll put the correct name down below in the description box. And I'm going to go in with my sponge and blend that out. Then I'm going to go over the orange areas with some of my foundation and then blend it out again just to get more of a full coverage look okay you guys this step is also optional you do not have to do this if you do not want to all right and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the rest of the areas that I corrected now going in with my macro longwear in the shade um, NC45 and NC42 I'm going to mix them together half and half and then just use this as my under eye highlight my concealer highlight just to brighten up under the eye and this will just bring more light and attention to that part of your face wherever you add highlight that just brings more attention and light to that face to that part of your face okay you guys and I'm just gonna use the same sponge to blend that out and it's still damp I'm sorry if my voice sounds strange you guys I was yelling a lot today you can thank my kids for that I'm also gonna go ahead and highlight the bridge part of my nose and also highlight my forehead just a bit my chin my chin my chin my cupid's bow area and just blend that all out All 
All right, you guys, now I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte um, Powder Foundation in the shade Coco, and I'm using this contouring brush also from Pure Cosmetics. This one is more of a normal style contouring brush, and I'm going to use it to chisel out my face, add the shapes back to my face. Since the foundation does take away, you know, dimension whenever you apply a full coat of it. Okay, so basically just adding the natural shadows and shapes back to my face to warm up my face and to make it look more realistic and kind of natural. <laughs> I'm also going to go ahead and contour the other side of my face and then I'm going to start working on my nose because applying foundation to the nose area does make my nose look very flat and one dimensional so adding a darker shade to both sides kind of reshapes it and gives it more of a better structure okay once i'm done with that i'm gonna go in with my favorite lip liner from jordana cosmetics in the shade coco loco and i'm just gonna outline my lips I'm doing a brown lip for this look. I wanted to have it somewhat neutral with still having the glitter in it. So that's why the brown lip. Okay, you guys. <laughs> now for lips, I'm using Matte Frappuccino from Jordana Cosmetic. This is a beautiful brown matte lipstick and it's super affordable. You could get this in Kmart. I think Rite Aid sells Jordana Cosmetics and other drugstores or Walmart. Okay, and I'm just going to apply that to the lips. I'm going to go in with a lip brush just to clean up the lines around my lip and then I'm going to clean up around the lipstick itself. I don't want it to be super sharp but I want the skin around my mouth area to be somewhat flawless looking. I was going to use this highlight by G Day G Glow or G Day GD Glow something like that but the formula smelled rancid like it did not smell good anymore so i'm gonna go in with my makeup addiction highlighter in the shade orgasmic which always delivers and gives me a beautiful highlight and i'm using this small powder brush from pure cosmetics to apply that to the highest points of my cheek area or my cheekbone area then i'm gonna go in with this um blush palette from sleek cosmetics i believe this one is in the shade pumpkin and i'm using this angled blush brush also from pure cosmetics to apply this lightly to my cheek area then i'm going to go back in with that detailer pointed brush or dome brush smoke out my lower lashes add a bit more of that gold color and that is it for this look you guys i hope you guys enjoy this collaboration with me and savannah make sure you guys check her out her link will be down below in the description box all right and give her some love for me thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all very soon love you guys bye